Big Bear and Little Bear Go Fishing by Hemi, Amy Hest, illustrated by Aaron Stead. <laughs> Big Bear and Little Bear Go Fishing. And there's a bee. One day, Big Bear says to Little Bear, I'm just in the mood for fishing. Me too, says Little Bear, just in the mood. <laughs> Big Bear and Little Bear pull on blaggy, baggy blue pants for fishing and boots. They stuff their feet into tall black boots. Their coats are yellow with pockets and hoods. Now they are ready for fishing. Almost. Poles, says Big Bear. Fishermen need poles. Big Bear and Little Bear put two poles, one long and one short, in their wagon. Now they are ready for fishing. Almost. <laughs> scones, says Big Bear. Fishermen need nice, warm, blueberry scones. Oh, yes, says Little Bear. Scones. So cute. Big Bear and Little Bear bake scones with blueberries from the garden. Then wrap them and put them in baskets. <laughs> A big basket for Big Bear scones and a little bit one for little bear scones. Now they're ready for fishing. Almost. A book with stories, says Big Bear. Fishermen need stories. Oh yes, says Little Bear, stories. Big Bear and Little Bear put a tall green book in their wagon. Now they are really truly ready for fishing. Off they go, pulling their wagon. They pull it and pull it all the way to the lake where their fishing boat is ready. It's waiting for them. Big Bear steps into the boat. It wobbles and creaks. Little Bear looks at the wobbling and listens to the creaking for quite some time. Then Big Bear holds out his arms and Little Bear jumps. Now everyone is in the boat. Big Bear and Little Bear dip their poles in the lake. Fishermen sit very still, whispers Big Bear. Oh yes, Little Bear whispers back, very still. Sunshine sparkles up the lake. Fishermen are patient, whispers Big Bear. Oh yes, Little Bear whispers back, patient. <laughs> they watch their poles and wait. Big Bear looks at the sparkly lake. Fish, he calls, where are you? Big Bear forgets to whisper. A long time passes. Big Bear rubs his belly. It is time for scones. Together they eat their nice, warm, blueberry scones. Big Bear and Little Bear, wait. And wait. Big Bear peers into the sparkly lake. Fish, he calls, where are you? Big Bear still forgets to whisper. <laughs> Little Bear picks up the tall green book. It is time for stories. Together they read story after story after story. Suddenly, a ripple in the lake. <gasps> Everyone peeks over the side of the boat. Hello, fish, says Little Bear. Little Bear remembers to whisper. Big Bear and Little Bear look at fish, and fish looks back. Nobody moves. Nobody blinks. <laughs> then there's a splash, and fish swims around the boat. This way, that way. Swim, swim, swim. Then fish is gone. No, don't go, cries Little Bear. Big Bear puts his arm around Little Bear. Together they watch the light 
on the lake. They think about fish. It is time for the fishermen to go home. Little Bear sits in the wagon. Big Bear pulls it and pulls it all the way home where their hammock is waiting. Big Bear climbs on the hammock and yawns. He closes his eyes and whispers, I'm just in the mood for a nap. Me too, Little Bear whispers back, just in the mood. He jumps in the hammock and snuggles up close to Big Bear. And all through the afternoon, the fishermen nap. The end.